Hello, in this video, we're going to learn basic elements, for HMI screen designing, which are, button, switch, symbolic I.O. field, graphic I.O. field, date time field, I.O. field, and bar. Finally, we'll see a practical project of HMI screen designing. Alright, we have seen, how a PLC or HMI, can be inserted into TIA software. Here we have a PLC and HMI. First let's connect them together. The PLC hardware has only one CPU. Let's write a simple program for that. Suppose this PLC output can turn on a motor. We want to use this bit memory, to start stop the motor from the HMI. Let's save this program, and transfer that to a virtual PLC. Now, we're going to design our HMI screen. From the Elements tab, insert a button. Let me change, its string to start stop. Now, select the button, to see its properties at the bottom. Like objects, here, we can change some properties of the selected button. The more important part is the event tab. Here, we can determine, what the inserted button can do. For example, when the button is pressed or we click on that. Click here. On the right side, we can search and use allowable functions. Search invert bit. Now, let's select start stop tag from the PLC tags table. So, when we click on this button, the M0.0 .0 address of PLC memory, which its tag is start stop, switches between 0 and 1. Now let's insert a simple circle. As you see, this object doesn't have any functions, at the events tab. Let's use this circle to show the state of motor, like previous videos. Now, let's save this screen, and simulate that. As you see, we can turn on off the motor with this button. Alright, let's go to have momentary buttons, like real push buttons, on the HMI screen. First, let me modify the PLC program.
We have seen this program before. Let's transfer the program to the virtual PLC. Alright, on the HMI screen, we need a start button. Let's modify the inserted button. First change its string. Also, let's change its color. Now let's go to the events tab. First delete previous function. When this button is pressed, we want to set the start tag in the PLC program. So search this function, set bit while key pressed. Now, select the start tag from the PLC tags table. Here, we can change bit number. Now, the inserted address has only one bit with this bit number. Also, we need a stop button. So let's create a copy. Now, let's connect this button to the stop tag of the PLC program. See here, when I select the start tag from the PLC tags table, here, the start stop tag is appeared. Why? Pay attention. In the HMI screen designing, PLC addresses are used to connect HMI. Tags just help us to understand the logic of PLC programs or HMI screens. Here we have two tags table, PLC and HMI tags table. At the previous project, when M0.0 address has been inserted to the HMI screen for the first time, automatically, start stop, has been used for M0.0 address at the HMI tags table. At this time, when I'm inserting M0.0 address for the second time, but with another tag, HMI use its previous tag for M0.0 address. So let me delete the previous tag. Now, let me insert the start tag again. Alright, let's change the stop button color. Now let's test this HMI screen. As you see, the start and stop buttons on the HMI screen, work like real start stop push buttons. Now, let's have an emergency switch on the HMI. If you remember, we have used a switch, in the previous video. At this time, let me change its mode to, switch with text. Here, we can connect the inserted switch to an address of PLC. So let's back to the program, and use a normally close contact for emergency state. You must note that, emergency is not a push button. It's a maintained button. All right. Let's transfer the modified program to the virtual PLC.
Now, let's connect the selected switch to emergency tag in the PLC program. Here, this is the text when the switch is on. So, let's change it to, emergency is pressed. Here, we can write a suitable text, which will be show, if the switch is off. Alright, we need to change, the switch appearance, because its text is not visible. Go to appearance. I think the text appearance is ok. So, let's download the logic again and let's see how does it work. As you see, the emergency switch, holds its last state, until it's pressed again. Alright, let's see another elements which can be used on the HMI screen. Insert a symbolic I.O. field. At its properties window. Select General Segment. As you see, this element needs a text list. Here, we can create and manage text and graphic lists. First, we must write a name for the text list. We want to create a text list, which will use to show the motor is off or the motor is on. Now let's back to the HMI screen. Connect the inserted element to motor tag in the PLC tags table. This tag has two states, on or off. Now, Insert the created text list, which has two texts for each motor state. Now, insert a graphic I.O. field. Similarly, we need a graphic list here. So, let's create a graphic list. Click on graphic list. Here we're going to create a graphic list which will show the motor states. At this window, we can select default, or last used graphics. Also, on the right side, there are many suitable graphics. Let me find and use two motor graphics, which are green and red. Now, like symbolic I.O. field, connect this element to motor tag. 
Also, here, select the created graphic list. Let's sort inserted elements. Let me remove background of this graphic and also its border. OK, let's simulate this screen. Let's turn on the motor. Well, I must release the emergency button. As you see, when the motor is on, these three elements show this state. Also we can change the motor state with this element. Alright, in the next video, we'll see how we can disable this ability. And also we'll continue to learn other elements, which can be used on the HMI screen. Thanks for watching.